Hey guys, John here. Sharice. And we're back with a Cupid's Corner at home edition. <laughs> so today, you know, it's kind of like a, it's, it's a real serious kind of Cupid's Corner, I guess. Um, the name of this segment is going to be called Through Thick or Thin. All right. And this is pretty serious, I guess, you know, for a lot of couples out there, whether you're married whether you're in a relationship as boy or girlfriend, living together, whatever the scenario is. If you guys are taking yourself serious as a couple, through thick or thin should be your vows. And not just marriage vows, but they are marriage vows. So if you're married, you should take it very serious. Now the reason we're doing through thick or thin, um, if you didn't know and we're at home right now, is because Sharice has been battling some illness bilateral pneumonia, sepsis, some serious, serious infections. So at that point, she's trying to, you know, just relax, get some bed rest, and just chill. But the other side of that is, is through thick or thin. Now, why do we name it like this? The reason we did is because, you know, through thick means, you know, troubled times, problem times. And that might not be you guys fighting, but that could be with your partner or loved one being sick, mm -hmm. right? Or being down for the count in one way or another, mm -hmm. right? Whether mentally, it's mentally, physically, emotionally. Right. She, she's definitely, you know, she's, she hit that right on the head. And thin means that everything is good, right? Everything is great. Now, you know, through thin is very simple and easy for a lot of couples because everything is happy-go-lucky. Everything's working pretty much, <clears throat> you know, to the best of its ability. And you guys are just having a great time together through... Through thin should be your best time, the honeymoon period. Now, through the thick. Now, this is the serious part. You know, when things start going sideways or things start going wrong, and let's just use health for the scenario. You know, Sharice has been sick, so who is going to take care of her? I've been sick not for like two days. I've been sick for 23 days. You know, so it's... So, you know, I it got to the point where, you know, um, just... As far as like shortness of breath, I couldn't walk up and down the stairs by myself, haven't been able to bathe by myself, go to the bathroom by myself. Like these are things that I've had to have John help me with. Like, and you know, it, it, you're in a vulnerable state. So, you know, <laughs> I'll even share this with you guys because it is kind of funny. So, you know, obviously I've been, when I say sick, I mean sick, 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 sick. Like my legs are swollen. Um, stomach swollen, you know, as far as like being able to do anything for myself, it's been very, very difficult for me to do anything for myself for two weeks. And I'm the kind of person I don't like to ask people for help. I don't want to ask people for help. And even if I need help, I still don't ask for help. I don't even like asking him for help because then I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want your help, you know? And so it just, it's, it's an alpha female thing, you know? But here's where like the love comes into play, okay? Like the true, true love. So <clears throat> I was in the ICU because um, I got really, really sick and I happened to have some awesome sepsis. This is, you know, very fun, fun, fun stuff to deal with here. Um, but regardless, you know, I was in the ICU, sick, whatever, whatever, whatever. So this is what yesterday I think it was. <clears throat> Today's the first day I can actually see some light at the end of the tunnel where, you know, um, I'm starting to get some of the water weight off of me and stuff like that. But yesterday, like... I look in the mirror, right? Okay. <laughs> and I ask John, okay, I want to know why, first of all, and he, and he has been telling me every single day because he's the best husband ever, you know, how much he loves me and how, how you look so beautiful, even though my face is like literally like, you know, I was retaining water like in my clavicle area and my face, my face was swelling. My arms are still swollen. My stomach is swollen. I look like I'm nine months pregnant. Thank God I'm not. I wish he was. I know he wishes I was, but I'm not. Thank God. <laughs> I don't want to be pregnant. <laughs> um, but I look like it, you know, and obviously I'm a female. So it's like, you know, it's kind of gets to you if you look bad, you know, but he's obviously said, I love you. You look great. You know, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, long story short, I look in the mirror and I'm like, hmm, so I just want to find out, you know, why there was no specific reason why John told, like, he didn't tell me that I had the McDonald sign on my face, you know, because I haven't been able to pluck, like, pluck my eyebrows, <laughs> and nobody's plucked my eyebrows for me. <laughs> so of course, if you don't pluck your eyebrows, what's gonna happen? It's gonna grow, right? So I look in the mirror, and I'm like, legit, I have a unibrow. I have a unibrow. 
and it's on my face and he literally hasn't said anything about it and i'm like you still love me with my unibrow and my mustache <laughs> Like, literally, guys, though, I look like an Amazon, you know, like, I look like a freaking Amazon, and he's, like, just probably staring at my unibrow no and way. just loving it, but <laughs> I have the McDonald's sign on my face, and he's just loving me for it, but I'm like, hello, at least tell me to pluck it or pluck it for me. <laughs> what are you going to do? I mean, I know I'm sick, but, like, pluck my McDonald's sign. I don't want a unibrow. <laughs> I, th I think that's the biggest thing. So <laughs> that's well, true love, though. Yeah, I mean, that's true love, you know, and that, that's really you know when when you do love oh my somebody. Gosh, and it's not so because they might have they might not look their best, whatever it is, <laughs> but like you truly love that person, right? No matter what is going on with them, you know, and if they're sick or they're down, um, you know, they might not look their best, <laughs> and they're not going to. That's the point of this. Like you love that person for who they truly are, or who they've been with you, uh, you know. And at that point, like. You know, some of these things are so trivial and, and some people, that's when you really know that, you know, this person might not love you or might not be so serious about you if they're not really showing you that love no matter what. And of course, like I said, if you're dazzled up, you're looking your best 110% and everything is perfect, it's going to be a lot easier for a relationship or a lot easier for the couples to be together and be happy. But literally when some of these things start coming about, people start getting sick. You know, they might not start looking their best. They're going through problems. You might start to help them. You might have to sacrifice some of your time, right? You're taking away from your gym workouts or you going out with some friends. He or... hasn't been able to, look, guys, he, like, honestly, straight up, and I tell you guys this, and I'm always straight up with you guys, whether I'm on ABC, on Facebook, on Instagram, or if I see you in person, I'm the most real person there is. I, it doesn't get any realer than me. And I'm telling you, like, John's literally had to be by my side literally every single minute of every single second of every single day, which he normally is by my side like that anyway, regardless, but not for like fun reasons. You know, he's had to like not leave my side because I was having issues breathing and I couldn't walk and I couldn't do things for myself. Like, and he was scared for me. I was scared for me. You know, my mom's scared for me. You know, my family's scared for me. My friends are scared for me. He had to stay with me to make sure I was okay, you know, and then eventually he forced me to go to the emergency room and i'm glad that i went to the emergency room or i wouldn't have found out that i had sepsis you know and be on my way to some sort of recovery who knows what would have happened you know but i was having issues a lot of issues you know and it, it comes down not even to just that you know as far as you know being you know intimate even you know i'm in pain and i'm have swelling in my back and in my legs and I can't breathe. So, you know, being intimate is probably not the first thing on my brain, but you know, it's like he's been the most understanding person there is, you know? And you have to remember that if you really, really love someone that you look past all that stuff and you say, hey, okay, this is like a temporary thing and we're gonna get through this and you're there for your partner and that's what he's done for me. I don't know what I would have done without him by my side like for the past three weeks, you know? Yeah, I don't know, I really don't. Like I'm a soldier, yeah, I can handle it, but like I don't know what I would have done because the last three weeks have not just been like, like physically tolling on me but like mentally and emotionally because i'm so used to doing things on my own like i don't want to ask for help and like i like to work and i haven't been able to work in like i literally haven't worked at all in th like three days you know i did work last week and the week before that like from home but like me not working it's like it gets to me like it gets to your head like you know especially someone like me i'm like i'm, I'm an independent alpha female you know so like to have to rely on somebody or like you know me to break down to john you know because i don't cry not normally anyway you know for me to cry to john you know because i'm so upset about just because i don't feel good you know i'm like when am i gonna feel better like am i going to feel better like when you know it's been 20 days i mean when i broke down that time i think it was only like two weeks in and i'm like what's going on with my body am i why am i not feeling better all i want to do is just feel better you know and he's i feel bad for him because his hands are tied and all he could do is support me you know like hug me and give me a kiss and tell me that it's going to be okay you know but that's all he could do because he couldn't 
you can't make this go away. <laughs> and, you know, that's the important part is supporting your partner through the hard times, <clears throat> you know, and being there for them all the way through and being understanding and being patient and making sure that they're taken care of. That's how you know somebody truly loves you or you love that person. So at that point, you want to make sure you're there. And through thick or thin, it's going to increase your love for each other and the bond factor. That person's going to know, I can rely on that person. I know that person's going to have my back. If a situation goes south or goes sideways. So it's really important to understand this through thick or through thin. You should love your partner, be understanding, be supporting, and be there for your partner when they really need you in times like this. And you'll never know when that time might come for you to be in need of your partner helping you guys. Mm -hmm. So at that point, be reciprocating, be patient, help your partner, be there for them, and make sure you're helping them in the right way. Don't be selfish. Mm -hmm. So this was a pretty serious Cupid's Corner, but it was important for us to talk about this and to share this with mm -hmm. you guys. I think you guys will learn a lot from this, and you'll know, and you'll see those true colors come out if that partner is right for you or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys? So this has been another Cupid's Corner with me and Cherise. Home edition. <laughs> we love you guys. We appreciate you guys for all tuning in. Everybody that's reached out to us for support, thank you guys. Thank you guys. We love you guys. We appreciate it. And make sure you guys tune in next week to another Cupid's Corner. We'll be going over some more topics to help you guys increase your love, your relationship, and your bond with your partner. Yep. So thanks, guys. I'll be jumping around by then. I'll see you then.